What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is Earthmaster here checking in on this March 28th, 2021's the date. 6.07 p.m. West Coast time here in California, where the latest quake on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 2.9 up here, or 3.6, around the Alaska area. Uh, kind of a little bit uh, of an uptick in activity up there. Globally, though, we have seen things calm down a tad bit. Aside from uh, just a little bit further deep earthquake activity in Fiji and a borderline 6.0 earthquake out here in the northern mid-Atlantic Ridge region. Check out the uh, latest information here on the USGS map here. Shows the uh, earthquake activity on, well, obviously on a different scale. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? <clears throat> Fairly quiet activity globally, folks, uh, is the key word tonight. Uh, we did see some further deep movement in the Chile, Peru, Chile trench area. A couple more uh, pretty deep earthquakes there. 4.8 in the Peru area and also a uh, 4.3 there in the Argentina region inland. Down dip downstream of this uh, trench area at almost 200 kilometers uh, down below the uh, surface there. So pretty deep movement uh, continuing in this area of the South America region. 5.8, as I mentioned, out here, south of Iceland, south of Greenland, at a depth of about 10 kilometers in the northern mid-Atlantic ridge. That's about the only quakes out there in the Atlantic section. There's a little one, I shouldn't say too little, kind of a uh, 5.0 earthquake, moderate-sized earthquake down there in the islands, uh, south of South America, getting way down there, way down there, kind of down there by the uh, Antarctica area. Other than that, uh, not a whole lot of uh, movement today, folks. Little one over in Pakistan, no major quakes out here to report um, at the moment. More deep earthquake activity, as I mentioned there in the uh, Kermadec Islands area, 4.6 at 508 kilometers. Uh, Yellowstone National Park showing a little bit of uh, increase in some microquakes out there in the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of in the, uh, well, Possibly over there in the northwest corner of the park, you can see Holmes Hill showing a little bit of earthquake activity, but also uh, some movement there around the borehole and Lake Butte area. This microquake activity is just extremely small. Some of these uh, spikes here could potentially be, uh, I don't know, ice quakes, I guess, uh, but no major swarming to report. This up here looks like it may be uh, some type of definitely interference um, on the seismograph station there nothing uh, nothing movement moving um, at all in that region so uh, what else we got here folks far as the solar storm activity goes tonight we still got one more chance of uh, um, a G1 class storm I want to see how this uh, see how this plays out looks like the uh, hold on a second here geomagnetic forecast there is still here uh, in the five range possibility we'll see if that really holds true or not a little disappointed in the activity last night kind of looked like it was going to pick up there towards the k4 index and then it just dropped off dramatically uh, we'll see we'll see tonight uh, if that does kick up a little bit 60 percent chance at uh, higher latitudes <clears throat> I've seen uh, some auroras, 30% up at the uh, mid latitudes, and dwindling down after tonight. So, we'll see if that can uh, see if we can make that happen. See if the Earth will make it. See if the Sun will make that happen. I should say. A couple, uh, couple of coronal holes down there, uh, down to the south, and also, I believe the the storms that we're kind of uh, anticipating were coming through these uh, these smaller ones that we're facing. Uh, facing Earth. All right, folks. Um, <clears throat> not a whole lot going on out here. Trimmer map. Um, I don't even know if... Well, it is updated. 28th. Okay, so this is going to update a little bit sooner than... Uh, than uh, I thought it would be. So that's cool. A little bit of movement down there. In the southern Oregon, northern California area. Looking at about uh, 300 or 282... 
epicenters of tremor uh, in the Cascadia subduction zone. We haven't really seen too much quaking at the surface. Um, make sure we put this on all magnitudes. We can see what's going on up here in the uh, Northern California area. <clears throat> Excuse me, I cannot get rid of this. Uh, you can see a little, little bit of earth, uh, earthquake activity off the coast of Oregon there. <clears throat> I believe uh, extremely related to the trimmer that we are seeing in Northern California there. Uh, you got to remember this is slippage here. So when you're getting some slippage uh, down dip downstream into the slippage area, uh, ultimately back pressure is continuing um, towards the surface area. And that's kind of what we're seeing in this region of Northern California here. Uh, a couple earthquakes there at a fairly deep level, 16 kilometers, 16.8 kilometers in the Cascadia mega thrust fold area, 2.2 magnitude, nothing big. Um, and then this other one right here, 5.6 kilometers, a little bit more shallow, 1.9. Either way, these are microqu microquakes, but still uh, some movement there along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone area. So keeping an eye on that uh, pretty closely as well. For now, folks, um, have a good night. Uh, really not a whole lot to talk about in Southern California. We're just pretty much all of these are microquakes. I don't believe we've seen anything over 2.5 today. Uh, there's a 2.5 map. Check it out. Not a whole lot there in the States or uh, anywhere for that matter. So all those quakes there being microquakes uh, over the last 24 hours. No major sw uh, swarming to report. Um, I guess this is kind of notable to mention there. The Garlock fault system, this shear, uh, shear fu function fault system, showing a little bit of uh, increase in activity there. But these are just very small quakes, 1.0 uh, and a 1.1 uh, 1 on this fault system here. Pretty quiet. All right, guys, we're out of here. Have a good night. Uh, stay safe out there. Uh, what do we got coming up here tomorrow? Monday. Monday. Is everyone happy to, for Monday to come around? Sure. Why not? All right, guys. Looks like they upgraded that uh, 3.9 to a, uh, well, 4.0 there in the Alaska area as we were doing that update. All right, guys. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.